Polk to uh, Hardy County flooding from the Peace River is continuing to leave people's lives in ruin. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska has driven all around the area talking to people about what they're going through and he joins us now live in Zolfo Springs with more. Michael. Wendy, well, you know, it, it really never ends. Anything along the Peace River has been devastated. You see this neighborhood behind me, dozens of homes that are underwater, and this goes from there all the way up to the west side of Zolfo Springs and over towards an RV park, and the water continues to rise. The house is higher than this driveway. Quentin Smith gave us a tour of his flooded home in Bartow. There's water over there by the wall. It was coming in the front door and it's rising. Smith tells me when the lakes in Winter Haven get too high, officials there release water into Peace Creek and that's what's flooding his home. He tells me it's happened four times since 2004. Ooh. So yeah, Quentin, I think your floors are starting to yeah, come up. Yeah, this floor turned loose now. So floors are coming up and you see the water's coming in and you can feel the current going through your front yeah. yard. I'm going to let the insurance company deal with it. Farther south in Hardy County, a similar story. The Peace River turning into a lake. Homes surrounded by floodwaters and RVs left bobbing in the current. Siempre evacuamos este. Alfredo Sanchez and his wife Liliana Zepeda evacuated with their three kids, and they are glad that they did. He can't even see his house, the water is so high. Pero está lleno de agua. This is the Hardy County Wildlife Refuge. It is flooded. The teams here scrambled to get all their animals to safety, which I'm told they did, but one emu has been left behind. You can see him walking behind me in circles in that cage. You could hear things flying, you know, and it, after about four or five hours of it, I said, God, I don't know if I can take much more of this. You know, nerves were just shot. Brenda Hewitt rode out the storm inside the Pioneer restaurant in Zolfo Springs with her 86 year old mom and about 10 other family members. I know it was God that took care of all of us. It was God. He took care of all of us. And I'm telling you, there is a real God and he does care. So much pain, boy, so much resilience, and she's very optimistic too. She said that all they need to get the restaurant up and running is some running water. All of their food is still good, so they're hoping to cook up comfort food for people in Zolfo Springs as soon as possible. Some good news, finally. We're live here in Hardy County tonight. Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.